This research pretty much was motivated from teaching. So I would teach an MBA class and make statements about how, com how analysts or the MBAs should disaggregate financial statements or use the accounting information to improve forecasts of a company's profitability. And as I was teaching, I'd realized there wasn't a lot of empirical evidence to back that statement up. And so that motivated me to go back to my office and start actually testing whether some of these tenets or assumptions that are made in financial statement analysis and valuation are actually backed by empirical evidence. So I think it definitely informs research in terms of what we know about how to forecast a company's profitability. I think it informs the standard setters like the Financial Accounting Standards Board who comes up with the accounting rules. And it definitely affects my teaching. So I can go into the classroom and say, this is what I've learned about what's useful for forecasting and what's useful for valuation. So it sort of spans practice, research, and teaching um, in terms of, in my opinion, the contribution of the research. The paper is disaggregating operating and financial activities for forecasting profitability and valuation, and it's forthcoming in the Review of Accounting Studies, which is an accounting academic journal.